Hello, hello, hello. This is your message from the universe for March 8th, 2021. This is the rune Fehu. Now, Fehu is the rune of possessions, but in this reading, it is reversed. Um, anytime I get Fehu reversed, it usually speaks about losing something, losing money, uh, losing focus, losing uh, something along those lines. It usually has to do with the loss of something that we used to think was very important. And so it has a really strong effect on us. Um, this six of coins speaks about a message. I believe that there's going to be a message coming in that's going to kind of like feel like a tower moment. But you can see that this tower is reversed. So that means it may feel like a tower moment, but it's not really a tower moment. We also have this hangman reversed telling us to look at this from a completely different perspective and the death card. If you keep doing the same thing you've been doing, you will get the same result. If you react to bad news, to loss, to a problem with your possessions, to the loss of your security, if you react in the same way that you always have, then you will end up in conflict about that thing. You will also get the same reaction that you always get. <clears throat> this Five of Wands reverse. Five of Wands speaks about... Working together, but it seems like you're fighting or fighting and it's seeming like you're fighting, but really you're working together. It has to do with those contentious relationships that we have. And it's not just people relationships, but it's also our relationship with nourishment, with money. Uh, since we have this Fehu reversed, it, this could be the struggle that you have with your own money story, depending on... Um, you know, your particular situation. But this five of wands reverse really talks about looking at that conflict in a different way. It talks about looking at it from a place where you can use this tower moment to stop, to interrupt, to disrupt the pattern of your own behavior. Okay. Because like I said, if we keep reacting, if we always react the same way to bad news or to losing money or to getting a new bill or to whatever it is in our uh, financial life, our monetary life, our belongings, the things that belong to us or that we think that we are entitled to, right? If we always react the same when bad news comes in, then we will always get the same outcome as we do, as we did the first time that we did. But if we change how we react to it, if we use bad news to actually shift the pattern of or the spiral that we usually go into, then we can actually change what happens the next time that bad news is going to happen. And in fact, if we're really creating what happens in the universe, they keep doing it to you because you keep reacting the same way. And if you started reacting differently, then you would be sent different stimuli. You get sent the same stimuli over and over again to see if you're going to learn anything from it. Maybe you would need to learn to get a side hustle, do an extra job, or not to panic. I have a, a, a person that I know that they get some bad news about their money and they wig out and they're like, I'm going to be homeless. I'm going to be living on the streets. I'm not going to have anything. My whole life is falling apart. And then when you have a discussion with them, they have like $4,000 in the bank still. They just got an extra, you know, bill in the mail for $1,000 or even $3,000. But what they're not looking at is you're still going to have money in the bank. Like, you're not going to be homeless. Your rent is paid for another month and a half. Like, there's a lot of time to find an alternate solution to this. That's where that strength comes in. You have to disrupt the pattern that this brings. Disrupt the pattern that the universe is bringing to you and shift it into something else. See, this infinite on the strength we all have the ability to do this. We all have the ability to shift and change how we react. It is, are we willing to stop fighting with ourselves? Are we willing to stop what looks like arguing and start to understand that it's actually us trying to process and work with ourselves, with our energy? It's not an easy thing to do, but again... If you keep reacting the same way, if you keep doing the same thing every time the same situation comes up, 
then you're going to end up with the same types of results over and over and over again. It's, it's, it seems like it makes sense, but our self-defense mechanisms are so strong that they react in the same way every time. And if we aren't self-aware enough to stop it, then we will end up stuck in an endless loop of either never having enough or something always coming in to ruin things or a mistake being made over and over again or, you know, the, the same the same pattern of behavior of I got a lot of money, I spend a lot of money, I got no money, and now I'm sad. Oh, I got, a, I got another check, I spend a lot of money. <laughs> or whatever your pattern is, it is important for us to look at those patterns, to find the strengths and the weaknesses in them, and to shift how we are behaving and how we are seeing those patterns. And that's going to help us to get through this, these times. And it's going to change the story that comes to us. Because if you believe that you are creating your own life, then your reaction now in this moment is going to affect what comes to you next. You are beloved, you matter, and you are so, so very loved.